This video is going to show you how to fix a blown garage door torsion spring cable if the door is in the fully open position like this one is. As you can see the cable spun off the drum and it's, well it's not on the drum so the door is going to close crooked. So the first thing you're going to do, get a pair of vice grips, put them underneath the bottom roller, push the door up a little bit as well. This will hold the door up so that it doesn't come falling down on you. Alright, next you're going to disconnect the cable from the bottom of your door and you're just going to completely unwrap it. Now you can see here you have a little slot in the drum. You want the cable to be seated in there. Now you'll notice we have a wider groove on the outside of the cable and all the other ones are smaller. The wider groove, it's important that you get the cable in that groove. The other ones, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, where it's supposed to be or over here a little farther. When you close the door the first time, it does straighten out. But the first wrap of cable, it's important that you get it right. So you're just going to follow it along the slot and you're going to wrap the cable back around the drum. So I just wrapped the cable back around the drum and I actually put that kind of in the wrong spot on purpose so I can show you that it will straighten out. Next what you're going to want to do is you need to rehook this cable to the bottom of the door. You can see it's not quite reaching but that's okay. The door is in the fully open position. There's not going to be very much tension on the spring. So, you know, I only have like a half turn on mine. So, you know, you will be able to, if I pull on this cable here, you can see it does turn that spring. So, all you need to do is rehook it to the bottom of this door here, which I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand, but you're going to rehook it to that stud there. Alright, so there we go. You can see we have our cable back on. Now, next, what you're going to want to do, you have vice grips on, leave those on for now. If you have a garage door opener, you're going to want to disconnect it from the door. Just pull down and back on this red rope. And the slight covers in the way in just a sec. There. You know what? Pull. Sorry if you didn't see that, but you pull down and back on the red rope. Disconnect the opener from the door. Next, you're going to carefully take off the vice grips, hold the door up while you're doing it, and then take your vice grips off. Alright, now you can see the door is staying up, and I'll show you here why it doesn't matter if the cable is in the wrong spot. As you can see, I'm going to go to close the door by hand. You'll hear a few noises, that's normal. It should stop doing that the second time you go to close it. Alright, now the door is closed all the way. And when I open it again, you can see now, and actually if I engage the opener to the exact spot it was before, oops. Alright, sorry about that. I re-engage it to the operator exactly where it was before. As you can see, now the cables are in the right spot. And as you can see, the other side is still completely fine. Still have tension on that side. So we're good to go. Now if this happens to you, um, what I would suggest doing, if the cable spun off the drum, it could be because of one of two reasons, or actually three reasons. The first could be that the door hit something and it went crooked, and that can cause the cable to come off. If the door didn't hit something, it's possible that the door that the opener might be opening the door too high, so you might want to decrease the open travel limit. On this particular model, there's two screws here. As you can see, this is the up limit. Turning it in the direction of the arrow makes it open farther. 
So you would just back it off a little bit and turn it the opposite direction of the arrow. If you have, if this happens again, it's probably a good idea to call a grouser company to adjust the spring because it's also possible that you might not have enough tension on your spring. Anyway, that's just a quick video on how to fix a blown cable. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope this helped, and we'll see you guys later.